that are on the way. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson here with a look at that forecast. Kevin. Hey, good evening, Molly. Yeah, the falling temperatures creating a perfect setup for black ice overnight tonight around the area, so be sure to use extra caution. Right now, we've fallen back to 26 officially at the airport. We've got just a little bit of a breeze out there that makes it feel like it's down into the mid-teens already, and temperatures area-wide have now dropped below freezing. You know, during the day today, we had the benefit of the March sun angle. We had temperatures that were hovering near freezing, for example, and for the most part, the snow wasn't terribly heavy. However, what has happened tonight? Well, all of that melted snow, any liquid or moisture that's been left out there is freezing quickly as we're headed down into the teens. We're already in the mid 20s now, so you've fallen back to 25 in Kenwood and Hyde Park, Mount Healthy, 26 in Dale High. You're at 26 over there in Harrison as well. Radar is now on a clean sweep and it should stay that way through the remainder of the night. I guess there could be a passing flurry left behind, but for the most part, we are done with the snowfall. So here's your updated snowfall totals. Shy of three inches in Wilmington, 2.2 in Del High on the western side of Hamilton County, officially two inches at CVG and across southeast Indiana. That's looks like where totals were the lowest there, generally about an inch and a half, just under two. So here's your hour by hour forecast through the night. Expect partly to mostly cloudy skies as temperatures drop back into the upper teens by morning. The big story now, not only the black ice, but your wind chills, your real feels tomorrow morning. Here we go at midnight. Feels like it's about 10 when the kids get ready to head out the door to school and work tomorrow morning about 7 a.m. Looks like it will feel like it's anywhere between about 5 to 10 above, although wind chills could briefly drop below zero close to I-70 and don't expect much relief during the day tomorrow. Even though we're going to get the sun back, wind chills will still keep it feeling like it's generally somewhere around 10 to maybe at best 15 during the day and then it falls back again tomorrow night. In fact, the coldest time frame will be tomorrow night into Tuesday morning when we see winds pick up and it's entirely likely that overnight tomorrow night, Monday night into Tuesday, we'll probably see those wind chills drop below zero in some locations, especially along in north of the Ohio River. So indeed, bitter cold by early March standards, and then we'll get a little relief in here during the day on Tuesday, but not much, as you can see, even in the afternoon, still feels like it's between 10 and 15. So the snow has moved out now. It's now headed towards the east coast. Meanwhile, it has been an exceptionally deadly day across parts of Alabama and Georgia with some over 10 to almost a dozen fatalities across those two states there with long track tornadoes. I guess we should be fortunate that we have been on the colder side of this particular storm system and now high pressure builds in tomorrow with some sunshine. Here's a look at future casts. You can see how the clouds try to get out of here late tonight. There may be a few lingering around in the morning, but we should see some decent sun tomorrow, albeit it's not going to help us much. And then expect partly cloudy skies Monday night. And then on Tuesday, we'll get reinforcements of the cold, and that probably will be accompanied by a few snow flurries and or snow showers, maybe in a couple of snow squalls. So that will be something to keep a watchful eye on. So for tonight, down to around 16. Again, the two takeaways for tonight, watch for areas of black ice and those wind chills dropping to between 0 and 10 above. Tomorrow, a cold breeze feels like it's in the teens between about 10 and 15 all day. Underneath that sunshine will be in the mid 20s. Here's your day planner 17 at 8 a.m. noon up to about 23. And then there's your mid 20s for highs in the afternoon. All right, there's your snow showers on Tuesday. It stays awfully cold, Molly. This does not look like the first full week of March around here for us. Notice our normal high around 50. So we're about 20 to 25 degrees below normal for this time of the year to start the week. But we'll get some moderation in temperature by the weekend. However, there still may be a couple of more snow opportunities before we get to that warm weather next weekend. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Louisville hopes to pick up momentum heading toward.